to the big landlords or the big developers, but to the people. Because even um, this um, Pete McMartin um, mentions a, a developer who is saying that we are building ourselves the same problem that Paris has that right in a very small area you have a really glitzy and fun village for all those that can afford it. And then right outside you have slums. Why don't you just get a job? As so many of them would answer me, I would love to. I would love to. But, and I, many of them I have sent to some of the employment places or that gives training, they might send them to some place that they're totally unable to do the job. Their, their response, and it goes to the welfare department, is that they're, um, I guess, unresponsive or uncooperative or whatever. They are cut off welfare. Many of them, um, have to get the, you know, the go to a place where they do shape ups, where they can get a day's work, which can be very, very hard, heavy work. Um, one young man that has his own own problems, but he's um, he does roofing, and he gets about seven or eight dollars an hour. What would a roofer get? Twenty to twenty-five dollars an hour. So he has to work many, many hours just to be able to get the poorest housing he can get. And the immigrants, because of their language difficulty, they're even taking care of. You know, they're not even in many instances getting the the minimum wage. And they have very, very serious problems in finding some place to live. We want to try to get more access to social assistance. So Judy uh, Graves and myself are working with the provincial government now on an outreach program that actually will help bring people inside by getting them on income assistance. What would you like to see done for these people? I would like to see a shelter built in this town so that nobody has to live in the bush. I would like to see the welfare system rearranged so that people who are in need of assistance are, can get it. And I would like to see people give the, the community as a whole, give, uh, give food, give, uh, give whatever to the people. KOA camps, I don't know if you've heard of them. It's the, I think those would be okay, you know, hot shower. Hot showers would be, it'd be a big thing for people that live out on the street. You know, sometimes you don't, people don't go for, for a shower for like a week, eh? You know, whatever. Unless they have the facility to do it. And they don't hear they shut the shut all the campgrounds down in, I think it's November or something like that. October yet. I'd like to see more um housing available, um particularly for the hard to house. Um I'd like to see housing available for um those with addiction problems. Uh, and transition housing available for those. I think they should have more um uh, shelters available like there's you know they have uh, these bed bed things you lay on the floor right but there's uh there's not enough of them right and they like they're downtown vancouver there they they uh what they kicked a bunch of people out of that building homeless people are i guess they're staying in right this is just what i heard and then they uh turn around and they rebuilt the thing and now they're renting it to people that can afford to, to live in there right and then the homeless people are back out on the street again so I, i'd like to see more more of that kind of thing right and maybe uh um, you know, uh, KOA things, you know, free, free camps for the homeless people, right? Why, why shouldn't there be a shelter, right? You know, they, they have a building for a shelter. You know, they should have, like, the Kinsman uh, Center for that, for, for instance, the Lions Club or whatever it's called there. You know, they should be able to, be able to sleep in there. You know, some, everybody's paid taxes at one time for that. I'd like to see better access or easier access um, to... Um, training resources. Uh, I'd like to see um, I'd like to see some uh, paid advocacy work so we could help some of the people get their personhood back. If you've lost all of your identification, your social insurance number, your care card, um, a lot of them don't have care cards. 
um, you don't have medical either. Um, I'd like to see um, dental be uh, dental work is a big problem, and I, there is no access to dental work for any of them, and that's for the working poor and the homeless. You know, the homeless people that are out there, maybe some you know might want to be educated a little more on 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 you know homeless people and help them. Like I really enjoy helping people. I, I really do. And education on how to help people. Ah, we didn't care about it. So you know, just, you know, maybe put me up in a place or something. You know, I don't, to me, money's not everything. I, what I would like to see happen um, is based on about three different areas I think that are really important. And one is the government needs to take responsibility for the care of its citizens. That needs to happen on the federal level, the provincial level, and the municipal level. And I think that um, the citizens need to pressure the governments to do that. But there's also another level that I think is very important, and that's just how we personally deal with our neighbors and what we do to care for people. And I think that everyone, A, that owns a home and has a spare room in a home ought to be considering how they could best use that spare room to take care of somebody that's on the street. Certainly in the cold weather, that should be an absolute you know, minimum that we could offer was begin to look at you know, how can we get people that aren't even able to get into shelters in. Okay, I don't want to take responsibility away from the government and say that they need to do their part, but we also need to um, live what we believe in. We need to reach out and say, look, as good neighbors, we need to deal with this and address this issue. So, and then the third area, I think, is to encourage people who are homeless. Um, there needs to be this sort of community action, getting together, empowerment of, like, what are we going to do about what's happening to us? And um, to, to get together and find ways to work with each other to go, okay, this is not right, what's happening to us, and that that's going to take a concerted effort by people who have homes and who have stability and people who are on the street to try to get together and um, talk and meet and organize and get out there and sort of, you know, park yourselves at City Hall and, you know, and head to Victoria and really make your voice heard. So if we leave so many of these precious human beings really out in the cold, without a sense of feeling their a sense of being important enough to have a roof over their head. What message are we giving to citizens in this wonderful country? <laughs>